Championship Showdown between Kelvin Gastelum and Jared Cannonier. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own, 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's gotta have. tail of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Cannoneer is eight years his senior. He will have a six inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, presenting the challenger, Jared the Killer Gorilla. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Kelvin. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it a fight. All right, so the fight is now underway on one side with the fighter who does everything well, taking on a... Oh! I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury! It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and do this tonight. 
They clinch here early, no surprise. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? A lot of top pressure being applied here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Now it's his mouth. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Oh, wow. Oh. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and he pins the arm down, and that is it. So the he tap got, comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped, and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. Calvin Gastelum, how about that? All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC middleweight champion of the world, your winner by submission tonight. And it is going to take a spectacular effort to dethrone this guy at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 31 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And still! So there he is, still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after a win by way of submission here tonight. And despite the fact that the number one contender came in and was all the rage, he got the job done relatively easily here tonight, submitting his foe inside the distance in defense of his middleweight title. Only one.